couple of weeks ago, I was sitting here in bed, playing on my computer. It's what I normally do, not, any, not very different than most days. And um, my roommate texts me and she's like, what the F, is this for real? And I had no idea what she's talking about. And I'm like, what? And she's a missile alert. I was like, um, I don't know. So I finished doing what I'm doing on the computer. I probably spent, you know, two or three minutes. And I get up and I go over here and my roommate, Sherry, she's sitting, sitting in her chair, where she's sitting now. And I look at her phone and her phone says there's a missile alert. And I'm like, yeah, that's real. And I look at the TV, which uh, was off and I turn the thing on. I go outside and there's a guy standing out there with his phone and he's, uh, he's a military guy and he's going, and I, and I go, I think this is some kind of F up. He says, yeah, we're not being recalled to base. So it's probably not real. And I go, well, all right, I gotta pretend that this is real regardless. Um, also, we didn't hear the sirens. I didn't really think about it too much in the moment. We didn't hear the sirens, we had sirens going up. Run back into the room, like, Sherry, get your shoes on. And she goes, what is this real? And the TV starts to, starts to have the scroll um, across the screen saying uh, the missile alert, missile threat, and I'm like, yeah, it's real. And I'm like, so get your shoes. And she starts crying. She's crying, and I'm like, don't cry shoes, get. And so I come on here, and I have to get my shoes on or whatever I'm doing, and I, I think I get my keys, I don't, that's it. And eventually, she, I think she gets, she gets ready. I'm like, okay, well, we gotta go downstairs. Leave the apartment, Sherry's in tow. And get to the elevator. I'm not, like freaking out. I think it's still kind of fake, but I'm, but you know, but you, you got to go through the motions. This is what I do. So we get on the elevator and uh, go down to the basement. Now my thought is, Sherry has multiple sclerosis, so I was thinking that she can't stay in the house. First of all, it's the fifth floor. If there's any kind of explosion, who knows what's going to be flying through the air? Um, I don't know if it's probably. I don't think it's safer to be up high than down low. It's probably to be better to be hunkered down below something. Not to mention that um, even if the missile doesn't hit anywhere near us, it's probably gonna knock out power. And we're on the fifth floor and Sherry's on, the, on a scooter. She's not gonna be able to get downstairs, won't be able to get to a shelter, won't be able to do anything. So I brought her down here and there were some people standing over here and they were all on their phone, cell phones and they're saying, well, Twitter is saying that it's false. I'm like, all right. At this point, you know, we know that it's supposed to be like a five minute thing. I think it took me 10 minutes for all of that. I had turned off my alerts because here in Hawaii, we get lots of um, flood warnings. And I was just sick of seeing flood warnings. I'm on the fifth floor, I don't care about flood warnings. So I tell Sherry, well, if this was real, I'll crawl underneath the car here. Um, and the people who were down here, they had some water bottles and I thought, oh, well, that's a good idea. I should have, I should have brought water bottles, but I didn't. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much what uh, my missile alert experience was. I thought it could be real. Um, I didn't think it was real for certain, but it could be. And you got to treat these things as if they are. I'm not upset by it. Uh, it didn't really, you know, I just go through the motions because what else are you gonna do? Um, a few minutes out of that, it was half an hour, I think, total by the time we were done. So, but um, actually, by the time we got it, so we came back upstairs after, after Twitter was saying that it was false. And we came back upstairs and then like five, 10 minutes later, um, the, the alert was, came back over the phone Sherry's phone saying that it was a it was a false alarm. Anyway, that's my missile alert experience.